to print a map, double click the blue header to open the toolbar. Then in the Save and Share tab, you'll click the Print button. A red box will appear that will show you the entire printing area. And in the left side panel, you'll see options for your print. You can choose from letter or tabloid. You can add a grid if needed. And you can add notes and change the default title. There's also the option to lock print preview with the map, which is what the default is. So I can still move around the map and the red box of the printing area will not change. Now if you decide that this isn't quite the area that you want and you just want to shift over a little bit to a different part of the map, you'll uncheck this lock print preview with map then move to the place you actually wanted. So I'm going to move that right there and when you're ready, you'll click print. Now as it's working, it'll tell you that it's preparing the file and please wait. And depending on the number of layers and the zoom level of the map you're making, it can take a moment. When your print is ready, it'll let you know by saying your file is ready to view the file. Please click open file. So we'll click this button and it'll open up in a new window. And you'll see our map. It'll have a legend, an inset map to give you a general idea of where we are in the county and any notes that you typed in will appear here. Now if you're having trouble seeing this map pop up when you click the link to get to it, you may need to disable your pop-up blocker. If you're in a rush and need to get a really quick snapshot of the map, you can always just use a screenshot or you can use the export tool. For more information for how to use the export tool, you can watch the YouTube video, How to Use the Export Tool.